Chicago's mayoral candidates picked up some new endorsements today. They come just a little more than two weeks before Election Day. WGN's Dana Rebeck reports on today's announcements. I'm ecstatic to be out here today to throw my support behind Brandon Johnson. With a track record of inclusion, Paul will partner with the Latino community and ensure that we have a spot and a voice at the table. Endorsements continue to roll in for both mayoral candidates with just two weeks to go before the April 4th runoff election in Chicago. I think he has the energy, the exuberance, the vision to be a great leader for Chicago. City and county black legislators, including chair of city council's black caucus, standing behind Brandon Johnson. He lives in Austin and I live in Garfield Park. He's got bullet holes in his house and so do I. The failures of old that have left families behind and has created this tale of two cities. We're going to disrupt, dismantle, and destroy that tale of two cities, and we're going to usher in one story for one Chicago. Johnson also picked up endorsements from the Polish community and retired black firefighters and paramedics today. We know that the last three administrations have not served us well, especially when we talked about jobs for the black community, especially when we talked about promotions within the fire department once we get the job. I'm telling you because I think it's the right choice to make. Yeah. On Sunday, former mayoral candidate Willie Wilson, along with 150 faith leaders, endorsed Paul Vallis. Today, Vallis also got the nod from the Latino Leadership Council, a group of civic, business, and elected officials who feel Vallis has a proven track record of prioritizing minority contracting and employment while leading Chicago public schools. We need someone who can hit the ground running. Our city is in crisis. We need a steady and proven hand. We need a workhorse and not a show horse. Vallis feels today's endorsement is key after former rival Chewy Garcia announced support for Brandon Johnson. The council represents the broader community, so it's these type of endorsements rather than single individual endorsements. It's these type of endorsements uh, that are important. Tonight, both candidates will appear at a forum at the Chicago History Museum, where the focus will be on how they each plan to bring equity and unity to the black and Latino community. In Lincoln Park, Dana Rebic, WGN News.